Hi team, good evening. Can you all able to hear me? So I will start at uh, 7 p.m. Good evening, Ravi. Kunduru, Katish, Varun. Good evening. I zoom team. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Okay, let's begin the session team. Good evening to both Zoom team and also YouTube team. Thank you for joining today's session. So again, we are going to continue about uh, Cucumber framework. So before I start, there are something you should keep it in mind. L last week, previous class, I taught you about doing the setup using the Cucumber archetype. Uh, actually, that was like uh, that's the best advanced setup when you go for CI/CD continuous integration and deployment. 
but uh, some of our students said like um, they came up with a lot of errors so i'm totally going to start from the scratch today it in sense already we completed what is the use of vdd why we need vdd then i gave the introduction about the cucumber framework and uh, after that all the in keywords like feature rule examples and the steps so these are all all theory part we have already done in the previous class apart from this and uh, we also learned how to install the plugin plugin in sense cucumber plugin why we you can find it in the help go to the eclipse market so i'm just doing a small recap what we have gone through previous class so here when you are going to do the when you are going to do for the first time you have to type it cucumber here or already whether it is there or not you click on install it will tell see cucumber plugin cucumber eclipse plugin so this plugin is very very important if you install this plugin alone whatever the feature files we are creating then all the steps we are using it will be in that particular color so without this without installing this please don't start that definitely you will end in a wrong way so this is a prerequisite install the cucumber plugin after that last class i taught you using the cucumber archetype and uh, this is actually a very nice setup but still uh, most of our students pinged me privately and saying like this is not working that is not working so what i thought to do is i'm just changing little bit of setup that is how we did selenium using apache maven setup no with the same setup how to add all the dependency we will scratch we will start it from the scratch so by chance if you missed previous class this is good. this is going to be a short of uh, we are going to start from the scratch only like creating of project and all then uh, this video i will be mentioning in the playlist before previous week video because this is what you should follow uh, so it in sense first try to understand the setup by um, what i can say suppose if you want to know theory if you want to learn about theory then you watch the next video in the playlist so i will rearrange like it will be day 43 and after that day 42 will be there so what you need to do in day 42 go and understand all the theory part complete the installation of the plugin but from the time that is project creation chart just skip it that come back to the day 43 that is today video and from now you can start the process step by step so let's try to go very slowly so we already have an idea about how to create the selenium project using maven same thing so let me create one more new other maven project this is how we did for test ng we did same process click on next after this choose the workspace don't go with create a simple project please don't follow this just follow the setup which i say now next and wait for a while now it will load this is where the tough part came into the picture last week i said you just choose the cucumber cucumber archetype this is this is the one i told you guys to follow it but so many errors i got it so better we will change the approach since most of them are new to automation so type apache.maven if we follow the playlist already we did the same setup for test ng and all so this is not going to be a new topic this is already known thing it's a quick start 
Apache Maven Quick Start next. And what is the project name? You can put Selenium Automation. What it is? Umber. Anyhow, group ID does not that's, that's it does not matter for us. Artifact ID is important. Cucumber Maven demo. So click on finish. Since I have already created one project here, so I'm just creating a separate one. Cucumber Maven project. And see the pom.xml. This is how it will be there for Apache.maven. But if we use previous class, this is actually the best. But a lot of uh, configurations, people are getting confused. So let's go with this. this. Now you have to add additionally by yourself one by one. Here, there are some important dependencies. So now let's try to understand the folder structure again, the same way it will have the test Java and then this one. Let's see this one. So source main Java, all the main Java project will be here, development code. And uh, under the source test Java, testing code will be there. And uh, once we add the dependency in pom.xml, it will come and add here in the version of library. So now the first step is to open the pom.xml. Here, what is the version of Java we are going to use? I always suggest everyone or recommend everyone to use Java 11 version, JDK 11 version. And then when it comes for dependency, keep this point in your mind. There are four important dependency needed. By default, by default, any any project, whenever you create using Maven, it will have a JUnit framework. So we already know what is the framework. JUnit means this is a this is a framework used by unit testing done by the developers, and the N unit is by .NET develop .NET application. This is for Java application, and from this only we got that. Test ng, test ng framework. But here we are not going to use test ng. We are going to use JUnit only. Now a question comes: I know only the test ng, not JUnit. Will it going to be tough? Means no need to worry. We are not uh, almost like four to five annotations only we will use it. That is just the name alone will be different. If you already know test ng, means learning or understanding the JUnit is going to be easier. So you first know what is the meaning of annotations. So in the sequence, if you come, we already done with all the types of annotation in the test engine itself. So by default, this will be there. This we must have it. And then another, the most important is we are going to use the Cucumber. Cucumber using what programming language? Cucumber Java. Then, then comes uh, another one, this J unit, Cucumber J unit is also there. Cucumber J unit. If you are not mentioning, because using this package only, dependency only, we are going to execute the program. If we are missing this, what will happen is the run with annotation, which we are going to see today, it will not be available. So, this is very important. And what programming language? So, these two are mandatory. Now comes whether you're going for mobile automation, web services, or uh, Selenium. Depends on that, you have to add it. So our requirement is Selenium Java version 3. So these four dependencies, you, you must have it here. By default, this is available. 4.11 version, we no need to worry about it. Now let's try to add the rest of the things one by one, one minute. So just, just give me a second. Yeah. Okay, no queries. Yes. So go to the MVN repository. I'll put like this. Let's go to this. So now comes 
in the four word that is cucumber java if want okay we are going to use cucumber java so cucumber jvm java this one and see the date 7 20 so let's click on this yes this is the latest version 7.6 and you can also see the date so ivo cucumber cucumber java so we are going to use that one put this okay first second dependency is done this is done this one already available now comes cucumber j unit so j unit let's go and type it here so here only some of them literally confused cucumber cucumber j unit see the second you put cucumber j unit always our intuition to go to the first one right it happens because it is high usage don't go to this where you have to do is cucumber jvm j unit but again see here the confusions comes here only see cucumber jvm j unit cucumber jvm j unit which one this is info cukes this is ivo cucumber see just note down always we have to refer ivo cucumber see here Ivo Cucumber JVM J unit. Yes, let's go and see it. See, let's copy and put it here. You should see the difference. This one is I'm going to develop our code Cucumber with the help of Java. And what is the framework I'm going to use? Cucumber using the J unit, like how we do using test ng, same way, Cucumber J unit. And remember the group ID, it's IO Cucumber, because a lot of dependencies are there in the Maven, Maven repository MVN. So if you improperly choose means things will never work out. This is the one important thing. So this is also done. Now comes the selenium java don't select selenium 4 because you know what is the difference between 3 and 4 we have already completed go with the 3 if your client requirement is to do on 4 then go with the 4 so this and all 4 because some of the functionalities may not work in 4 so i always go with 3.141 because we are going to automate selenium so all the dependencies are added just four dependencies as of now remember as of now if i want to use extend report excel sheet then the respective dependencies needs to be added as of now this for dependency that is j unit this will be by default please don't delete it remember don't delete it and then comes one minute okay then comes cucumber java cucumber j unit selenium java okay after this what you can do by i'm sure it would have added everything but java is still in 1.7 right click go to the maven update project make sure the project is correctly selected force update okay some of the queries as i'm seeing it in the chat i will reply at the end let's focus on the topic first okay this is done so all the dependencies are added this is the first thing four dependencies keep this point in mind because if you are not following step here 
definitely at some point of time it will not work correctly so while choosing the dependency you must follow this four this is it will be available by default these two are compulsory mandatory and this is depends on what is the one you're going to use apm web service so based on that as of now i'm going to use java selenium java automation is third version so for dependency okay done so after this what is the next step so dependency add on let's try to create some let's try to understand okay So if you see Cucumber, this is a karate framework that is next module. So here, what are all the three components? Again, interview question. Cucumber means first feature file it should be. The feature file version, the, the extension will be dot feature. Okay, here only using the Gherkin language like given, when, then and dot. We will write the requirement here, feature here. Last class, D42, already we discussed about each keyword. Then, when you write a keyword, the respective code, we have to write it. It can be of any language, but as of now, we are, have chosen Java. So, there comes step definition step definition so here java code will be there here curfew language will be there so you can execute this one also this one you can interconnect and execute but in that case you can execute only one test case no what if one one feature file what if you have so many feature file there comes the runner file dot java so here again using the j unit so this is where the framework is important so you are going to execute as a whole so that we have a lot of advantages we can use dry run tagging concept even in test ng we use the tagging grouping concept so such things and we can do it when you can do it when you have that framework with you that's where cucumber j unit comes into the picture so the runner so totally three components we have it in the cucumber feature file step definition and then runner file dot java so let's focus on this then to this let's play with these two files later at the end we will move on to the runner file okay. now first file let's try to create and always remember we are doing the testing so here only step file this diagram remember step definition we have to put it here but feature file always we keep it in a separate folder in most of the project i have seen such setup we don't use this package setup but some of the project they will do it so when you work in a project whatever the existing um, setups they are using it go with it no wrong in that but I will follow, like I'll create a separate folder and keep all the features files there. So this folder name, I'll put feature files. Okay, here, first feature file, new, and go to create a file. So what is last week we saw Parabank, right? Same thing, Parabank login very important dot feature if you're not mentioning feature then it will not create a feature file it will create some other extension so dot feature is very important see automatically since we have already installed all the plugin it is explained so this is like commenting tax scenario feature automatically by default it will give i don't want this 
I'll try to write by myself. Okay. And the requirement again. What is the requirement is? First, let me explain Parabank. We will try to learn today with Selenium code. So we have to launch this. When you want to launch this, this is the URL. After launching this URL, we have to enter the username and password. Click on login button. Already I have tested with this credential or automation. It is not working. Automation one, two, three, four, five. Right. No. So if you while you're trying, if things are not working, what you can do is you can create register it and use it that time itself. Let me give a last try. Right? One, two, three. It is not there. So since it's a demo website, you can create now. Actually, I think every one hour they are clearing the data set because it is used to by most of them. Automatically, they are clearing the backend database. So whenever we register, that data will be used for only one hour. So let me put automation on the paper file. Everything same. Username and password. Right. Register. So our requirement is we have to enter the username password, click on login button, then we will get this. We have to uh, this we will we have to just display the title if you can validate it and click on logout and close the application. Let's check whether it is working or not. Automation. Yeah, it is working. So when you log in, so this is the what to say page title. Okay, this is a requirement. First, understand the requirement. For that requirement, let's try to create a feature file. First, we will try to put a positive scenario and then negative scenario, valid credential, invalid credentials. So what is the feature? If it, you don't know if it is not working, press control space, you will get it. Feature. So you can what, to test the customer login or Parabank application. So you can type everything. So this all will go under the documentation. Nothing will happen. Then we have to write the scenario. So what is the scenario? Login using valid credentials. Because the next scenario it is going to be invalid credentials. You no need to worry about indentation. Automatically, we can do it. First, given. So in given, user is navigating to the login page. This one, right? Login page. How? By launching the URL. User is navigating. Our application is launched. Launch application. Launch the application. That is also makes sense, no? When launch the application, when user enter, or when username and passwords are entered, like that. When username and this one, username and password are entered. So you're going to enter. Automation one two three four five. Automation one two three four five. We will first go with the art code. When you enter, um, what you should click on login button, right? So and again you can put when means it doesn't make. You can put, but you can use and also you can use star also. Anything is fine. And uh, click on login model login button if you click on login button then what will happen see the english same thing then uh go into overview 
account service or display the user home page so user home page that's a home page this you can put like that it will display the user home page every user will have the home page after this what you can do you can log out give when when then and log out of log out launch the application log out the application and close the application because after log out you should close it now so we are done this is a requirement right click see pretty format and remember the same explanation we will do it for karate framework at that time i will not explain this much so now itself properly understand this pretty format okay done even you can put here star star but as of now don't put like that why because this word is used to create a user the method which is not defined by us automatically we can create it so right click pretty format control s run as cucumber feature wow mm -hmm. as in the problem what is the problem giving surprises let's see wait team let's see what happens okay wait and then wasting time at a bank Login scenario dot beach. Okay. Any file corrupted? No. Yeah. Okay. What I did, I don't know. Sometimes this type of okay, it is not like do we need to run a file? Not like that. You follow the sequence which I say once when you start as a fresher then you you will get more exposed to this coding part right then directly you can use the runner runner mostly if i want to do a batch execution i will use runner or else unit testing mostly i will run as a feature file only so okay so we executed one more time i will execute run as a cucumber feature file and see here the code is generated this one these are all the totally one scenario six steps so you can implementing the missing steps with snippet below so we got this copy keep it in a notepad we'll use it so what we have done is we are done with the feature file now the respective step definition we have to create it so there comes the testing part right click new again you can create a new package or else directly you can create a class in the class here you can you come stenii step definition because every step definition i will keep inside this alone this is going to be a para bank para bank login scenario or test case whatever it is and it is not a compulsion that both should be same nothing like that no need to select public static void main remember like how we did in the test ng like it doesn't use a defined method right same same thing so we no need of any user uh, that is main method public static wide main you don't select it one sec let me check the comments okay fine so this is done we also have this code let me first copy this 
Control C, Control V. Okay. So what we need to do after copy pasting, we can able to see a lot of this warning error message. You have to input given io cucumber java dot en given when you can also use and also nothing wrong in it exactly i'm changing in this way and then after two things it is going to be 100 then we'll use and and okay now let's try to put that code this out message application is launched successfully i'll put first this username username and password entered successfully and then when you click on that okay click that click actually yeah nothing wrong click on i can put this inside this it's okay clicked on login button successfully and then we'll put here application is launched application is closed and then user home pages display then logged out of the, app, the application okay so we are just implementing the just added the sysout message let's execute this run as run configuration here you can target see which which feature you want to do it and it will tell it will show other uh, things also make sure you are selecting right one if you are not doing that way no problem you can once again run from here from here as a feature file that is also fine see we got all those message successfully a given and launch the application it is entered successfully clicked on login button displayed successfully so we got all the scenarios one scenario six steps all pass this we can able to see it as a j unit also one sec Okay, where's that option? One minute team. This one. This will give whenever we execute it. So one more time I'm going to execute. It is not generating it. It is still with my previous execution report. Okay. No issue. So we have done with the feature file. We are done with the step definition. Let's try to add the Selenium code. When you practice this program, better directly start writing the Selenium code. With Selenium code, if you test, that is going to be even easier for you to understand. 
because in your project you're going to add those stuff only so first set the system property system dot set property key and value web driver dot driver chrome web driver dot chrome dot driver and uh, what is the driver file we have to mention that this driver file it is not there but i have it here mm, one sec i will take this driver file put it in the base directory base directory means where the project is located see the base directory driver file chrome driver it is done i have added you can find the path of this this one you can put everything but hard coding is not a good idea dot you can get like get property user directory that also you can concordate but this is my way of doing it this is done now after this we have to create the web driver driver object equal to new chrome driver and import the driver object open selenium qa chrome one so after this launching the application driver dot get you can declare and give it or else as of now i'll give it directly okay okay let's try to execute and see whether it is working or not automatically it's selected right if it launches yeah it is launching and navigating yes selenium code is working by chance if you get error like uh, unable to create the session and all me check your version of the chrome browser and this driver browser make sure it should match so let me continue the coding part so after launching driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so now we have to use this driver object across all the method but if you see the color of the driver it is in the brown color it means what it is a local variable i have to make this as an instance variable so what i can do is public i'm giving access to all the packages public with driver driver declaring here and see the color change to blue color this can be accessed across all the method here what should i do just remove this web driver control s so what happened so whatever the object driver object instance which we are creating that will be saved in this variable from here you are going to pass it to all the methods nothing new here we have already learned this in the test ng same thing i'm just doing a small recap this out My application is okay then we have to enter the username and the password let's try to inspect this so these are all fundamentals we have already learned in the selenium test ng please make sure you're watching those videos so using the locator name so driver dot find element by dot name dot send case i'm going to enter the value automation on to the four five we have to declare web element and all as of now i'm directly using it driver dot find element by dot name this one this is for password name locator dot send keys both username and password i made it same so username and password is entered after this 
we have to click on login button when you see there is no locators class and all it is not a good idea go with copy xpark driver dot find element by dot xpark it's going to be bigger one in a project we have to customize it so click on login button Automation one two three four five. Automation one two three four five. Then after we launch, how can I tell this one is the right one from the title or some object here or some welcome this? If you find the text welcome, then I can say we are in the right page, or else the title. Either way, you can able to verify it. So display users or here what I will do. I'll go with simple way. Okay, if I go with inspect. So welcome is the copy xpath. Even you can verify target also. So this one. If this one you can declare welcome and then get text whether it contains welcome or not. That way you can do it. Or else what you can do you can verify the title also title so title whether we have this or not either way you can do it so i'll go with title title means again string what is the actual the actual title equal to driver dot get title string what is the expected title? We will get this from the requirement document. Okay. Then you can directly use if else or you can use assert also, assert equal. So any either thing you can use. But we have used assert very less. So for that reason only, I am using if actual dot equals expected title then i can say user link run successfully that title of the page always display what is the value during runtime then else says mm, out the actual and expected titles are not same. The actual title of the page, the expected title of the page. Okay, and this is done. Now comes logout of the application. So we have to click on this inspect xpath. If you are watching this video for the first time, it will be very fast. Please try to complete all the selenium part. Then it is very easier one. So logged out of application. And application closed means driver dot use quit control a control i okay so we are done with the coding java coding is done i can execute from here also or from here anything is fine uh, let's see whether this will work perfectly or not So application launched, username clicked. Yes, all pass. Yes, all pass. Application launched successfully. Clicked on login button, it has new. And the title of the page is C. And logged off successfully, application closed. It is done. So we have seen one simple feature file with Selenium code implementation.
you can run it as a feature file you can run it as a run configuration you have to exactly the right feature file you have to choose if you choose a wrong one then things will not work out okay now what shall we do is okay we'll go with the negative scenario run how to run and all we'll see it later control z control v okay control c control v now a negative scenario means login using invalid credentials so given username and password are first username and password are entered click on login button so when invalid username and password are entered when okay there is a contradiction will come albert valid when valid username and password entered when invalid username and password click on the button display no if it clicks on this what will happen i can say like give and launch the application when invalid username and password are entered so you're going to enter something let me look off here one second something so internal error so it is not allowing and click on then unable to log in if it if it is typing the invalid credential we are unable to log in. so that's the second scenario pretty format now we have already created something with this code see one method with valid invalid i'm going to do a little bit modification um, in real time project when you got a good experience at that time what will happen you will directly go and code it you will not generate and copy paste it here but as of now this is the first time you are using the cucumber framework means please follow the exact way how i am teaching then only it will be very very easy for you in other in other word you will face very less errors run as cucumber file since it's a very small flow let it run no problem we don't have any data issue so some errors are getting it why it didn't enter not an issue let it fail let's see the console what it is saying two scenarios we have it 11 out of 11 steps seven skipped two undefined two passed so you can these are all the method which is not there because if you observe something so i will just remove this okay three methods because just now i have updated the word valid this one is valid but here see that particular thing is not there so a little bit modification i will copy this put it here valid username and password then cut paste remove this so this means the first one is done now comes invalid unable to log in what about this one it is already there this is all this one is given launch the application it is already there see it is already there this one then see here click on login button it is common right click on login button it is already there you no need to code it again what is not there the thing which is not there is invalid username and password unable to log in so that is nothing but these two method copy it just paste it at the bottom don't put everything in middle definitely it is going to be an issue always whenever you want something put it at the bottom you no need to worry about the sequence automatically this will choose it. this will choose it. you no need to worry about it so 
when invalid username are entered what i will do is we already have that code just copy this paste it here and i give some random thing this will go into this is a negative scenario unable to lock in so how you will say something is unable to log in means you can verify that error message as of now what i will do so so i will put like unable to log in and unable to log in error message okay let's do that also so getting this error message inspect this one copy export so web element error message equal to driver dot find element y dot x path this one if it is an object you can give it like this then mm, string error message value error message text equal to dot get text i think it is between the tab so get text so unable to log in the error message is that's it so now it should display that so we are done with all the thing one minute 79 comment line 79 why this is going to be invalid right no need to comment it okay okay fine username uh, invalid okay it is line 80 that's thank you invalid username and passwords are entered okay unable to log in let's execute this two scenarios I can execute from there also, but I used to get like this. So, no queries. First positive scenario. Then, invalid credentials. See, some methods are already there. Okay. Two past 11 steps. Perfect. It is working perfectly without any issue. So, two scenarios with Selenium code we are done. So, this is how you will do it in the real time scenario. Uh, there are something, some additional features. I cannot say additional feature that is sometimes it will trouble you. Whatever you are creating this method, no, this method the name of this method this method whenever you execute it will check entire project entire project means for example if you keep this code in another feature file and run run means this particular code what it will tell already this is available duplicate so this is this actually this is not the issue we faced it in the test engine we can create a number of method we can copy paste it but it won't work here as of now, uh, why I'm saying this, please don't have multiple feature file and execute as of now. Please go in the sequence which I say, then I will increase the complexity, then you can work with multiple feature file. So, two scenario done. So, tell me one thing, here, given is common, am I right? Till now, everyone clear? Both Zoom and YouTube. Please comment, please text. All good, right? To some extent. Understood? Perfect. So, what is the comment here? 
So we end up we implemented feature given scenario given when then and and now comes the thing which is common for both the scenarios. We can make that as a background. Capital B background. So what is the background? This one. Launch the application. You can remove here. So this is a description. Pretty format. Sometimes given you will have a lot of condition that you have to put. But there is a catch here. If you put this here, then it is going to be trouble. Close the application means the sequence is very, very important. In what sequence? Given when then. If you put this here, it will launch and close. So it may not work properly. Usually the condition, the prerequisite, which is common for all the scenario, you can put it as a background. Here given is the common one. See now, mm, same program, nothing big difference. I'm going to run pretty format, run as feature file. First scenario, see it is taking it is providing it from the background. It is perfectly king. Okay. Console. Two pass, two scenario pass, 11 step. Done. Now, here if you have served it, we are passing the value as an hard coded. In the starting itself, I said we should never use the hard coded value so we can parameterize. So, before parameterizing, that is, I can parameterize and run it from the. Um, okay. This one is done. This one is done. Um, more thinking what sequence it should okay we'll go with the runner class so that it should be easy for you to everyone when you watch this video and do it now comes the step definition is done feature file is there now we are going to create another package the package name it is runner so all the runner file you can keep it here. Some of the project they will keep for every package, they will keep a runner and do the setting. So I'm just making as easy as possible. This setup, it is not used in advanced project or real-time project. This is just like a fundamentals. The folder structure, the project configuration and all, I will show you some sample projects that will be totally different. When you start for the first thing, just follow this so that the existing project we can modify it to the real automation project. So runner class. Again, you no need to mention public static void will click on finish. So this is done. This is done. I'm going to execute this as a runner file. Here. There are some annotations are available at control space. So first one R U E N run with see when a class is annotated with run with or something like this, it invokes the respective class instead of builder. So using this only, we are going to execute. What is the class? What is the file? This is a Kukumba file. Kukumba dot class. So we are very specific on that. You can see the code implementation. They have used interface concept and all. You can learn this. Or else in simply, you just remember, we are going to execute Kukumba related project. So 
the cucumber class needs to be called compulsory mandate now comes the most important one it is cucumber option so we have lot of configuration with cucumber option so what i am going here we are not going to type anything as of now inside the cucumber option i am just pressing control space see these many attributes and parameters we have dry run extra glue feature glue monochrome name so many things there for today let's focus on three things what is compulsory if i want to execute means compulsory first we have to tell where the feature file is exist because this is the diagram you have, you should tell these two persons where it is right these two files so first one is feature file so features this is mandatory you have to give the path of it path means here the path is there right click properties this one again you can give fully or else this also fine i'll put dot so what this will do is this will pick only this particular para bank login by chance if i don't want um, i want to execute all the feature files inside this means i will remove this that's it so i will give a path go and check it in the feature files so whatever it is there just run it so in as of today let's focus only on single feature file first one and what is the next one is it is glue so glue means package to load glue code step definition hooks plugin so exactly see they itself mentioned the example how you should mention exactly in which package you mentioned all the step definition so this is a package we mentioned the step definition no and or see put it into the double quotes so that's it with this let's try to execute if you press control and this you can read it feature what do you mean by feature you can give single one see it is clearly mentioned you can mention that one or else class path that's in another way you can mention path of it class path like this so so many ways are there the, so for today i don't want to come with all the configuration once we complete all the important features a separate topic we will focus only on cucumber options right now just feature file and the feature file and the package of this these two single feature file run as c j unit test first time we are seeing that option till now we were seeing test ng and all right now it becomes j unit so it start at the execution positive scenario negative scenario done don't worry about this red color and all but this is important this see j unit this is a report just now very important uh, your observation skill is most important login using valid credentials login using invalid credential two things and see that second 12 second 12 second it took 6 seconds okay let's put 13 and 7 second keep this point in your mind almost 20 again in order to execute these two scenario what we did we just use run with i'm going to use the cucumber class then it is having a lot of options first option exactly where the feature file is there and what is the uh, package in which the step definition is available if you just remove this what will happen whatever the feature file available inside this everything it will execute in a sequential way like a batch execution okay now in addition to this there is one more best option we have something called dry run which is very very useful one 
dry run. See what is a dry run? If it is true, if glue code execution should be skipped, okay. Just put true. What this will do is it will not execute with the selenium code. It will go and check whether all the method, all the step, step means what? These are all the step definition, right? It will check in the entire project, wherever you are mentioning. If it is there, it will execute. Just it will execute as a pass. It will not execute the water's code inside that. If you mention try equal to try run equal to true. Suppose if something is not available, means it will tell you because in real time project, we will work with multiple feature files, step definition. How can I able to analyze it in a single go means you have to do a dry run. Now I'm going to execute. See the second I mentioned dry run true. Let's check whether it is launching the application or not. Just see it. What happened? It didn't do anything. But what about here? Observe, observe clearly. See what is the second it took? Less than a second. So it means what it long it executed all the feature file, the step definition. It went and checked whether all the steps are available or not. Yes, it is available. So it is green without executing the Selenium code because. What will happen in real time? We may have a number of methods. Some flow will be very high. I can't execute. At the end, it will tell this is not there. That is not there. Again, I have to code it, rerun it. Such a tough task. But just always first do a dry run. Nothing wrong in that. Make sure you have all the things are mapped properly. Now I will do a small negative scenario. For a change, I'll comment this. I've, what I'm doing is I'm commenting this one, this one, this one, invalid username, this one. I'm commenting this one. In, in other words, we are doing a development, but we forgot to write code for this. That is the real scenario. Let's see what this dry run going to do it. Just run as J unit test. Execution is completed. See this J unit already it is in the red color. See first, this one is passed. What about this? It's failure. And you have something. You can copy it. Copy the trace. Put it here. Let's see what happens, what it is mentioned. Error message, read the error message. What it is saying, the step invalid username and password entered is undefined. Now you go and implement the code. So even if you do any mistake, it's not an issue. It will automatically, what it will do, it will pick the code. So what you need to do is just go with dry run equal to true especially when you start before executing some sanity testing regression testing something like that execute end to end without code with the help of dry run by default it will be false if you're not mentioning no problem but you already added this means make this as a false i'll just take this yes now I made it as false. Now let me execute. Now this will execute with the Selenium code. That's it. First scenario. Second scenario. Yeah. It's completed. Both of them passed in these again. So three feature. Again, we have a lot of features. Extra glue, monochrome, then plugin, publish, reporting and all. So these are all like a framework level. It will be very useful. If I want to implement this, I need more feature file. So 
this cucumber option will be rest of the tags will be continued later later instance once i have a lot of feature files we'll do it so a short recap what we did when we want to start a cucumber is first try to install the plugin then start with the feature file so we have before that in the pom.xml make sure all these dependencies by default junit will be there then what is the programming language we are going to use using the java cucumber java and what is the framework that is cucumber junit and i'm going to automate the selenium using the version 3 for this is like compulsory and make sure your group id is ivo.cucumber if you wrongly choose literally you will not find solutions and even in google because most of the google blocks all about test ng j unit only support for cucumber is very 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 less it is literally tough if something goes wrong i i check for some of the error messages when uh, when some of our students posted privately ping me this is an error so there is no proper documentation. So please follow the sequence so that you will disturb me very less. Okay, this one. Once all the plugin is done, then all the dependency added, updated, start creating the feature file. First, understand the requirement. Very, very important. Understand the requirement under the package next in this project package you sorry you are this is a my way sometimes some of them what they do they try to create com next in feature file they put here i have seen such project structure also but mostly i created as a folder feature file where i will keep this one at a bank login scenario dot feature what is the scenario what is the feature positive scenario negative scenario whichever it is common i'll put it into the group background then if you execute first it will generate the code what you need to do then comes the next step step definition you create a step definition in a separate package this package is very very important you have to give this pair in the render class so don't do any type of error here properly give it because sometimes if you wrong name here then you update here means things will not work Follow the coding standards, very, very important. Because this name only, it will be published in Jenkins. Everyone will look this words. It is not like I have to open your Eclipse and check the coding standard for review. All this naming convention report, it will be published into the Jenkins or where maybe Jira. So someone can able to do the code review in your organization just from the report. So follow the naming convention. So here that step definition, when you launch for the first time, you will get it, put this, put the sysout message, execute it. When things goes fine, then what you can do, start with the Selenium code. Then start executing as a, the step definition. If these tools are working fine, then you can go to the runner class. In the runner class, what you can do is, I am going to execute run using the cucumber dot class and cucumber option. As of now, feature and glue is mandatory. Feature means what is the feature file or the package or the folder you are going to execute. And glue means that is where the step definition is available. These two are compulsory, you can execute. And dry run, if I want to check whether all the methods are available or not, it is defined or not defined. I can put dry run equal to true. It will clearly tell. If dry run is passed, then you just make this. If it is passed, then make this as a false one and re execute it. So, everyone clear till now, team? All good. Okay. Uh, well, please reply me. Zoom team. What about YouTube team? Good. Yeah. Thumbs up is also fine. Okay. Mm. So one question uh, from Venkatesh. In ID industry, which framework is mostly used? 
mostly using BDD Cucumber or TestNG or any other. So again, uh, if it's a waterfall model, V model and all, normally they will go with the TestNG framework. Agile is also TestNG framework, but Agile, they are bringing the BDD concept. When the word BDD comes, with that particular methodology, then they will use the Cucumber. So purely most of the Scrum project nowadays, they are moving towards BDD. In that, they use the Cucumber. Other than that, rest of all the automation project, decoration project, waterfall, V model, they literally use the test engine. So, so the, this just follow today video, theory part, like day 42 video, the main framework, the project setup, follow today video, try to do it. And let me know in case of any issues, please put the questions in the group or else you can ping me the error message to me. I will definitely help you on that. And still we have a lot of topics, subtopics in this cucumber thing that we will continue it tomorrow. Tomorrow we will have class at 6 p.m. Uh, 6 to 8. We'll see all the rest of the topics tomorrow. So thank you team. Let me first stop streaming uh, YouTube. Good night. One second. Then we will discuss one by one on all your queries.